Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have the honor of bringing you the word for the day. Today we're going through Psalm 90. And Psalm 90 contrasts the eternal nature of God and the impermanence of humanity. Our humanity is confronted by the everlasting God in this life. And we have a chance to be connected to this God of eternity, which in and of itself is just absolutely wild. Psalm 90 verse 2 says this, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting, that's one way, to everlasting, that's the other way, you are God. So from before beginnings to the after of the end of the entirety that we know, God will always be. And the issue with an everlasting, perfect, amazing God confronting us, who is not eternal, is we are an imperfect, sinful people who are in need of cleansing. Because not just anyone or anything can be in the presence of this everlasting God. So there are consequences to sin. Sin will not be everlasting as God is, and those who are in His presence will be. And the only thing that can cleanse sin in this world is God. But sin left to itself leads to death. So the psalm acknowledges this and and the consequences of sin and the righteous judgment of God calling for repentance and the seeking His mercy and favor in our lives. For those of us who realize we can't live apart from sin without God, Psalm 90 verse 3 and 9 says this, You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man. For all our days pass away under your wrath. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. If we pass away with sin in our life, eternity with God isn't possible. And we can't remove sin on our own. So here's what Psalm 90 verse 17 says. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Sin in our lives seems hopeless unless we know that God is shining his favor upon us. And for the Christian, you can know in full confidence God shines His favor upon us because we believe in Jesus Christ as our hope and Savior and healer and defeater of sin in our lives. John 3, 16 through 17 says, For for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. Look, our lives are fleeting. God is eternal and perfect and worthy. We are called to submit to God's favor and blessing and trust that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is our healer from sin. So I pray today that Jesus will continually shine his mercy on you and that he inspects your life from the inside out and heals you of all the sin that you're going through in your life. Do you have hidden sin? Do you have known sin? Do you have justified sin in your life? The best thing that you can do is tell your eternal Father through prayer about it and ask Him to heal you from it. Seek Him out. Jesus is mighty to save and He has already been to the cross so you also can live eternally with God. You just have to believe in Him and repent from those sins. Have a great day, Calvary. Love you all and we'll see you tomorrow.